Hi everyone, in this problem we're being asked to verify this identity. Let's go ahead and try to work through it. Solution. So whenever you're verifying trig identities, it's usually a good idea to start with the more complicated side, which in this case is the left-hand side. So we'll start by writing it down again. So we have the cosine squared of x, cosecant of x, minus the cosecant of x. Whoops. And we want to show that it's equal to negative sine x. So we have a cosecant here and a cosecant here. We could write cosecant in terms of sine, right? Cosecant is uh, 1 over sine. Um, that might be a decent idea. We, we could do that. Uh, or uh, we could factor out a cosecant. Um, I think both ways will work. I'm not really sure which is the better uh, approach. Let's go ahead and write it as 1 over sine and see what happens. So this is cosine squared of x times 1 over sine minus 1 over sine. And so now what we can do um, is actually rewrite it as follows. This is cosine squared x over sine. And we can do that because this is really over 1, right? We're just multiplying, right? Cosine squared times 1 is cosine squared. 1 times sine is sine. So we're allowed to do that. And this is minus 1 over sine. And now notice that we have the same denominator. So what that means is we can write everything over that denominator. So we can write this as cosine squared x minus 1 over sine x. And we're trying to get to negative sine x. So if you, you know, if you can't do it in your head, that's okay. Um, the most important thing is that you know what identity to use next. So there is an identity that relates sine and cosine squared. That identity is cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. Notice how I'm writing it on the side here. So this is, this is like scratch work that takes place away from our solution. It's really important not to you know, mix this with your solution. So now we need to figure out like how we can relate it to this. Well, here we have cosine squared. So for now, let's just maybe solve for cosine squared. So we can do that by subtracting sine squared minus sine squared. So cosine squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared. Notice you can memorize this pretty easily. Cosine squared is equal to 1 minus the other one squared. By the way, you can do the same thing with sine squared. Sine squared is equal to 1 minus the other one squared. So these are worth memorizing as well. Um, I think it's a little easier to have these memorized. If you have this memorized, then you don't have to go through all of this. So cosine squared is 1 minus the other one squared. So this is 1 minus sine squared, and then minus 1, and it's all being divided by sine x. Oh, look at that, these go away. So we have negative sine squared over sine x. And we lose a copy of sine, one of them cancels, and we're left with negative sine x. And that completes the solution, right? That's what we had to show. We had to show it was equal to negative sine x. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.